first thing we need to do is to um is to integrate uh LDAP to the fourth gear to the fourth client EMS. Integrate our LDAP server. So go to let me bring up my LDAP server. So let's add, uh, let's integrate EDAP server. Go to add, add, add Active Directory, hostname. The hostname of our EDAP server is 10, uh, 10 .15 .9, 200. So we're using port 38. Uh, port 389 for now, then uh give it administrator or a service account that has administrative uh, privilege so let's click okay let's test successful and let's save now Let's now go to endpoint, manage domains, then click add active directory, then drop down. So what we want to do is just to add all from here. And uh, you see it will be added. So all the domains, organization, organization units and groups are added. So you can be able to use them in the coming video. So let's sync. Now we've been able to successfully integrate EDAP server to uh to our device uh, to our fort gate uh, to our fort client EMS. So basically these are the all the endpoints within uh, our domain uh